and welcome back to another awesome episode of Cooking with Helena. Today we are making cheese filling. This is for stuff like lasagnas and stuffed shells and manicotti. All right, so we're going to list off some ingredients here. You ready? We are going to start with one cup of cottage cheese. Doesn't matter what kind of cottage cheese it is, just a delicious one. We're going to go with two cups of ricotta cheese. Once again, doesn't matter what kind, just make sure it's delicious. And there's cup number two. Get out of there. All right. Next, we're going to move on to two large eggs. Yeah. All right, let's get some seasonings up here. You ready? Simple and straightforward. Here we go. We are going to do one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of basil, one half teaspoon of thyme. And I don't know why I put a big pause there, but there you go. One tablespoon of salt and one and a half tablespoons of black pepper. You can also put a little bit of crushed red pepper in if you want. Then we're going to move to one cup of fresh Parmesan cheese and dump it on in there. Please do not use the powdered, dried Parmesan. Get some fresh Parmesan. Then we're going to move on to two cups of shredded mozzarella. Mmm, cheese, baby. Love cheese. Even lactose intolerant people love cheese. Just saying. We're moving on to garlic. We're going to use four to six cloves of garlic. Put it through your garlic press or chop it. I would use all six. And if you looked closely at my video, I'm actually using seven. But shh, don't tell anybody. I love garlic. Keeps the vampires away. Oh yeah, can you smell what Helena's cooking? You should be able to smell it because you should be cooking it. All right, stir it up. Do not be afraid of this, folks. I'll even put it in writing for you. You ready? Don't be scared. You won't hurt it. Give it a really good stir stir for a good minute or so. Make sure that everything is incorporated and well mixed. After it's well mixed, we're going to go ahead and put it in the fridge covered for about an hour or so. All right, so after your hour of cooling in the refrigerator, go ahead and bring it out. Now, this step is completely optional. Two packages of drained, pressed, dethawed frozen spinach. I am telling you guys, this is delicious. I don't care if you like spinach or not. This is a good step. Now, if you want to add some ground beef to this too, that also works as a good filling. Just simply cook off your ground beef, drain it, make sure that oil's out, make sure it's all cooled down. Put that in instead of the spinach. It's awesome. You could also do some sautéed mushrooms or onions or whatever you want to do. The main mix here is the cheese. You just add whatever you want to it. All right. After that, guys, just cool it and let it chill out. And then get ready to use. This is great for awesome things. Like I said before, lasagna, stuffed shells, the manicotti, anything you can think of, guys. All right, well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you stay tuned, because who knows what I'm going to be cooking next. You can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Dan Helena.